Good evening, friends, family, and special guests. I'm honored to be part of this remarkable and distinguished group of educators who are here tonight representing Sacramento County. I have clear and vivid memories of my first teaching assignment in San Francisco. I was hired on a Friday. School started the following Monday. <laughs> Friday afternoon, I went to check out my new classroom. The school had just moved to a new site, and 100 boxes meant for the library had inadvertently been placed in my classroom. With the help of dear friends, my classroom was set up in two days, and I was ready for my first group of students that Monday. 14 years later, I fell in love and decided to make the move to Sacramento. I was blessed to gain a caring and supportive husband, and I was fortunate enough to find a job. My new teaching assignment followed the same trend. I was hired in Center Unified School District on a Friday, and school started a few days later. <laughs> Once again, my family and friends pitched in, this time packing and moving my entire classroom 80 miles and setting up in two days. It seems that the pressure of the first day of school looming leads to efficient and creative brilliance when setting up a new classroom. <laughs> the difference between then and now lay in my readiness and experience in teaching, but despite my veteran status, I still felt like a newbie in my new school. What stood out for me in both these experiences was the kindness and support extended to me by my new colleagues. They became my extended family. Teachers are a special breed. We understand implicitly what this job entails, and we do our best to reach out with collaboration, support, and a caring smile to our fellow educators. We know that both new and veteran teachers' brains are fried with workshops, meetings, professional development, assessments, behavior plans, curriculum, and a passion for reaching every student. And a smile or a quick last minute lesson idea for Monday morning is always appreciated. I feel supported by my friends and colleagues and also by my husband and family who understand the reality of the important work we do, especially when I'm doing report cards on a Saturday or lesson plans on a Tuesday night. I'm also reminded of the greater worldwide family of educators that I have the honor to belong to, who strive to make a difference in the lives of children to support students to reach their greatest potential and fulfill their dreams and passions. The ancient Chinese philosopher and teacher Confucius said, education breeds confidence, confidence breeds hope, hope breeds peace. As we educate our students, we hold the belief that they will enter the world of their future with confidence and hope to create peace. Congratulations to all the teachers here tonight and thank you so much for this honor.